So this morning it's a 200 km bike ride, 160 km of which I'm going to be joined by, uh, I'm joining Tea Garden Cycling Club. I'm going to be cycling around Lincolnshire, heading to Lincoln. And once I get back to Grimsby, that's where we all part. And uh, I've got about, that's about three quarter, three quarter of an hour just to finish totting it up to 200 kilometers. Skyline, looks like it's gonna be a great day. Just heading towards my home seaside town, the Cleethorpes. Right today, I hope they can be joined by Dieter Nelson and John Crew. So there's at least three of us on today's ride. Let's see who else turns up. And uh, I'm gonna be doing a little mini interview, I guess. Find out what we got them into cycling, what, why they joined the club, all those sort of questions. The deserted Cleef Forks North Promenade. Not a single soul around. Apart from people exercising. Morning. As you can see, it's a bit windy today. Right into the wind, it's not nice at the minute. I see a couple of flashing lights up ahead. They seem to be catching them though. Hopefully it's one of the lads. Because it looks like, as per usual, I'm going to be arriving there just on the dot. I was hoping to get there early, but it uh, doesn't like it's going to be the case this morning. Although to be honest, it could be absolutely anybody. This part of Lincolnshire is uh, very popular with cyclists. There's a very strong cycling community here. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way, I will not surrender I will do my best until I get put under What if I go stronger? How did you get into uh, cycling? Well, Richard, <laughs> I used to do mountain biking when I was about 16 and then I started playing squash but it was too intensive on the knees and I thought I'd start doing a bit of biking, got into road biking with Jason Webb probably maybe about five years ago now and it started with me and him and then the group just evolved from there and that was it. Yeah, so why do you still cycle now then? Because I like the banter. I like the banter. And the fitness. How did you get into cycling, John? <laughs> Followed him. You followed him? In night shots, we joined him and Jason Webb. Yeah. And that's where the TGCG came along. Uh, is it not C? No, it's not yeah, so it's G. G. Group, group. Not club. Do you know why I was, I was yeah. put TGCC? I know everything. It's just not about maybe, because obviously the Raptors are so bloody dear. Yeah. Gone quite healthy, haven't we, really? Poached yeah. eggs.
Arrived at the open door cafe, I can hardly talk in Bardney. John's nearly headbutted a, a light bulb. <laughs> Second cafe stop of the day. Quick drink, I think. Maybe some to eat. I'm thinking cake. I'm thinking cake stop. What do you think, Simon? Cake stop? Definitely cake stop, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> tea cake there, Simon. Tea cake, Simon. I've opted for tea cake. And we're going for. Parsnips soup. I've never seen parsnips. Funny enough, it's made of parsnips. Is it? And it's soup. It's lovely. So, Simon, how did you get into cycling? Well, I originally did a lot of mountain biking. Right. Did that for a good 20 plus years. Okay. Came to live here. A bit flat. Loads of road cycling. Are we doing a time trial or anything like that then? Yeah, every Tuesday. Um, do a bit of time trialing with John. Oh yeah, you did do a bit of last year, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. We did quite well as well, didn't we? Yeah. So what, what would you say is the, the number one reason that you know you, you get out of bed and just jump on a bike? I'm addicted to cycling. Yeah. I can't do anything else but cycle. What is it? Is it cafe stops? No. Or the miles? Or it's just cycling and miles. The, the friends, <coughs> the friendships, the jokes. Yeah. The, the, the insults. The souls, the souls, the souls, the souls, yeah. Meeting people like you, Ricky. Okay. Oh, well, thank you very much. That's been very kind. Yeah. Of. Right, Ricky. What brings you to cycling? What brings me to cycling? Well, I probably started about four years ago. Just getting healthy, really. Yeah. He's done a few stone, a few stone out overweight, so I just wanted to lose him. I've given up smoking and start walking everywhere to get exercise. And what's, what's your targets for this year now you're not a superstar DJ? <laughs> um, well, pretty much like last year, really. I want to do about 10,000 miles again. Travel loads and loads, I haven't been on before. Been to the Netherlands, France. Well, thanks a lot, Ricky. That's your 30 seconds done. What do you say, Dieter? Good route, that, Ricky. On our way into uh, Little Corfu, through the woods. Very, very muddy today. Lots of mud, actually coated in it. Very fast uh, descent from the A16 onto the flats, back onto the coastal roads. To the end of the ride now. About 50k to go. So less than two hours and I'll be home. As you see, by myself now, the last part of the journey. Just coming into a place called Salt Fleet B. So here I am at the site of St. Boltolfs which is uh, one of Lincolnshire's most haunted churches, apparently. And as it's nearly approaching four o'clock, I'm not going anywhere near it. <laughs> as you can tell, folks, it's pretty dark. It's come to five o'clock. Three minutes to five. And I've got 26k just under to go. And for the last 25k, I've uh, pretty, pretty been much uh, demolished by the wind it's been absolutely battering me but I'm currently at Grains Hope which is just south of Tenney which itself is about six miles away from home 
So I'm incredibly, I'm incredibly attempted to not go this way and just chicken out. Because if I don't finish it, that'll be another uh, 200 kilometer door axe wasted. I won't get me two points. And I need to stick to the route to claim those points. So, uh, yeah. Have I got the grit to continue? Oh, here we go.